In this video, we're gonna check out one of the highest rated pizza spots in downtown LA. Pizzeria Bianco is relatively new and it's located at the Row in downtown LA. This is the same area where Smorgasburg happens every Sunday, so we wanted to come check it out. They do have separate menus for lunch and dinner, and so we're here for lunch because they sell slices, like New York style slices. I'm excited to try it. I like how there's a little window to order. The line wasn't too long when we got in, but the line definitely grew. It's definitely a place for lunch around, for people who work around here, but it's nice because they have like a patio and an indoor area. They do have a different menu again for lunch and dinner. The dinner um, pizzas are the ones that were featured in Netflix's Chef's Table with Chef uh, Chris Bianco. He goes into depth and detail about the pizzas that he makes for the dinner service, but the lunch service is more like slices. So he has a New York style pizza that's only served during lunch. And um, and then today's special is like a Sicilian style. So we ordered one of those too. Excited for the food. So for our pizzas, we ordered a bunch of slices. Um, we got, they had the original red sauce, uh, red slice, which is basically like a New York style pizza, just cheese and tomato sauce. And then we got the salami slice, which comes with like salami on top of the cheese and tomatoes. And then we got the green sauce, which comes with like a spinach cream sauce and cheese. Thank you. And our first item is the mortadella. Uh, we got, we decided to get a sandwich. This one comes with goat cheese, mortadella, arugula, and aged sherry. It looks yummy. And they basically use, they show in chef's table, they use the pizza dough and make bread crust to make these sandwiches, which is why I knew I had to try a sandwich. Should I dig in? Get that olive oil on top. So good. Oh, I hope you heard that crunch, cause, oh my gosh. Mmm. It's salty, a little bit gamey from the goat cheese, but not too much. The cherry bin provides a nice acidity in the arugula. It's a perfect bite. Honestly, such a good sandwich. And some pickled veggies. Carrots are really good. Why would they do to pickle these? They're really good. Mm. And last but not least, we also got the Sicilian slice, which was, again, the special of the day. It was, um, I think there's just like red sauce or like the tomatoes. They use the Bianco tomatoes with cheese and order some Mexican Coke. I am impressed with how cold these bottles are. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off with the New York slice. It's not floppy, which is good. And it has a little bit of a crust. I'm gonna fold it to the New York fold. Mmm. Oh. Ooh, it's crunchy. The sauce is super tangy. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh wow. Mmm. This cheese is so good too. I feel like you could tell that all the ingredients were like very carefully selected for these. I'll try the green one as well. I want to eat these before they get cool, you know? This one again is a spinach cream sauce with some cheese. Yeah. It's not pesto, surprisingly. Mm. 
It is very spinachy. Almost just like cream spinach on a pizza. I want to try the crust on this too because I love good pizza crust. And this is good pizza crust. Nice crust on the outside, but it's like super soft and fluffy on the inside. It's like, it's what crust dreams are made of. <laughs> I think my favorite part about this is like really the, the tomato sauce. I really like kind of the tartness of it. Kyle almost dropped his, but he saved it. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> that would have been bad. I might have cried. And I, again, I like the cheese too. It's not like the most like stereotypical New York slice, I would say, but it's still that New York style and the crust is just amazing. I, I can't talk enough about it. It's so good. Mm. Okay, this one is the salami New York style. I see the pieces of salami here. I'm gonna try to get a bite. Oh, this is a piece here too, so. Mm. Oh, that salami is so good. I usually like cheese pizza. But this, it's probably, it's better than like the typical pepperoni pizza that most places serve. Cause the salami, the cured meat is so good. It's not overly salty like a lot of pepperonis are either. Ooh, ooh. Mmm, that salami is so good. And last but not least, the special, the Sicilian. Again, this one doesn't really have any like meat toppings or anything, it's just, cheese and then you could see the tomato bits from their the t whole tomatoes that they use i like the charred bits so that's a good sign but one of my favorite parts about like square pizzas is like the crusty cheese you know mm. it's really good i can tell it's gonna be filling but you could see the little like air holes, air pockets from in the dough and it like kind of shows you how like light and airy the inside is. Even though, I mean, it's thick, but oh, that's good. I would say I prefer these slices over the square Sicilian slice, but it's still a ch nice change of pace, but it's probably more filling than the other slices. Mm. It still has a good, good crunch too. Is that yummy? You want more? Ah! <laughs> so Chef Chris Bianco is somewhere around here. If, like he's been uh, he's been going around to the tables for people who like purchased his like cookbook he would like sign their books and stuff and interact with them. So that's pretty cool. Like I'm surprised that he was actually on site cause he does have um, his original location in Phoenix. So um, this is actually his first LA location, technically second because he actually opened in LA before it closed and then reopened. So it's really cool to see him here. I will also add that Kayla loves these pizzas. She keeps asking for more. So I just keep giving her more. <laughs> Toddler approved. Just in case you were wondering, we finished our food. It was too good to take home and too good to leave any leftovers. Um, the crust here is amazing on the sandwich, on the Sicilian, on the, sli the New York slices, all of them, the crusts were just amazing. They're like super crunchy and yet super fluffy at the same time. I don't know how that works, but um, you know, all the ingredients taste very high quality and I love the tart flavors of the tomatoes. 
um, and the cheeses are all different and they're all tasty. Um, if I were to pick a favorite, it would probably be the just the plain cheese slice, but that salami one is a very close second. And then the mortadella is like right there, right up there with me, uh, with those two for me. Um, it, the spinach wasn't bad and the Sicilian wasn't bad at all either. They were both really good. It's just that the other items were just so good that, you know, someone has to be last place, right? <laughs> Overall, Pizzeria Bianco did not disappoint. I think out of the pizzas that I reviewed for this, for YouTube, I think this is the best in LA. Um, better than Prime Pizza, probably. We haven't reviewed on video a couple other places, which will bring you in a future pizza crawl video. But if you want to see our original pizza crawl video, we'll link it down below. But overall, it's a it's a it's a hit. The, it's worth the hype. So definitely come check it out. Also, plus side, there's free parking, two-hour free parking. So you don't have to worry about parking in LA, which is a big deal. Um, overall, uh, everything was good. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. See you on the next adventure. Bye-bye! <laughs> She's milk coming out. <laughs>